Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at all the cheat codes that are available in Age of Empires 2. If you're looking to improve at Age of Empires 2, learn build orders, or just generally enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, then you're at the right channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure that you're notified whenever there's a new upload. So the first cheats we're going to be looking at are the resource cheats. So we're going to go through the old ones first. So these ones used to only give you a thousand, but now they give you ten thousand. So starting off, we've got Rock On, which gives you ten thousand stone. And then we've got Cheese Steak Jimmies, which gives you ten thousand food. Punctuation is important with that one. Then we've got Lumberjack, which gives you ten thousand wood. And then finally, we've got Robin Hood. Which gives you 10,000 gold. So, the next three we're going to do all do exactly the same thing. So, the first one is Ninja Connor, which gives you 100,000 of every resource. Then we've got Ninja Louie, which also gives you 100,000 of every resource. And then we have Roshep, which also gives you 100,000 of every resource. So, then we're going to look at what I've called map cheats, which includes Woof Woof, Natural Wonders. Marco Polo. So Marco and Polo, uh, just do your map exploration and fog of war. So uh, tapping in Marco will toggle on and off the map exploration and Polo will do the fog of war. Following on from that we have Woof Woof which basically turns all of the birds into Stormy Dogs. So Stormy Dog was uh, actually a rescue dog rescued by developer Matt Pritchard who uh, found the dog in a storm drain. So following on from that we have Natural Wonders which basically just gives you control over all of the animals that's in the game. So the boar, the deer, the wolves, you name it. Apart from birds, I don't think you can control the birds. But uh, little did I know previously, the deer can actually attack the villagers. <laughs> Takes them a long time. So they've been hitting that villager for a long long time and only lost like 2 HP or something like that. Uh, and then we've got end game cheats, so there's quite a few different ones here, so these will basically just end the game. So first one we're looking at is Wimpy Wimpy Wimpy, which effectively just sort of commits suicide. And you lose the game. Then we've got IR Winner, which just makes you win. Then we have Black Death, which kills all of the enemy in the game. And then we have Resign, which um, kind of speaks for itself really. And then we have torpedo cheats. So, the torpedo cheats basically it's just torpedo and then the play number. And um, what that will do is just, um, as you can see, just kill every single unit, building, you name it, that that particular player has got, and it just removes them from the game altogether. Okay, following on from the end game cheats, we've got other cheats. So Aegis, Mute and No Mute. So Mute and No Mute just basically toggle on and off the audio taunts. But Aegis will um, make sure that every single player in the game can instantly build buildings, train units, get all the research. And um, you've got to be careful with this one because it will apply to the enemy as well. And that includes the AI. Okay, now we're moving into units. So quite a selection of units. And the first one we're going to start off with is I Love the Monkey Head, which gives you a useless VMDL unit. Doesn't do anything. It um, just runs around really fast. It's pretty much a scouting unit. The, although the actual line of sight of the build of the unit is um, not particularly great. It's probably the same as a Dark Age Scout. So then we've got I Don't Exist, which gives you a killer penguin. I think this one's very much a meme. Um, it's not overly strong. It can be killed quite easily, as you're going to see here. But it's funny, and that's the main thing, especially if you've got an army of penguins. And gives us Furious the Monkey Boy, a hard-hitting angry monkey. So 
So Furious the Monkey Boy, really really strong in terms of his attack, uh, but he does seem to be a little bit vulnerable and uh, the archers can quite easily kill him, but he is very strong. And we've got Smithereens which is a saboteur, which is pretty much just a strong petard. Not as strong as I thought it should be really, given that it's a cheat code. See, it's just going to hit these buildings. I thought it should really just blow the whole lot up, but probably knocks a third of the health off the buildings. Then we've got Catzor, a cat riding a shark equipped with jetpacks, shooting laser beams or rockets. Can't quite decide which one it is. But uh, this is a new one for the Definitive Edition, and it's a bit of a funny looking one, that's for sure. Quite. <laughs> <laughs> Quite good, but it, it uh, ignores terrain, so it just flies over everything, water, trees, mountains, and uh, as you can see it does shoot rockets or laser beams. I think it's laser beams, but for some reason they explode on impact. Um, pretty strong, normally takes a couple of hits to kill something, uh, but it does have area of effect as well. And we've got Alpaca Simulator, which gives you Alfred the Alpaca. He's a little bit crazy, I think he's a bit of an unhinged crown wearing alpaca with an attitude problem. But he's really strong. Pretty much just one shots everything. With some mighty alpaca headbutt. And he can take down towers pretty well as well. And then saving the best till last, we've got how do you turn this on? A machine gun firing Cobra car. Now this is very, very iconic cheat code for the game. If anyone thinks of Age of Empires 2 cheats, it's always the Cobra car. Just how crazy powerful it is. Everyone always knows the cheat code. And it's kind of become a meme over the years as well. So every so often Age of Empires 2 team introduce certain celebration events into the game and quite often they include certain cheat codes. So these cheat codes are only available uh, upon completing certain challenges during the events and they cannot be acquired after the event concludes and these are only in the definitive edition of the game. So. Um, First of all, there has been Photon Man, which creates Photon Man. <laughs> Going above and beyond, which lets the player research the same technology up to 256 times, which sort of stacks all of the effects. Tech Tech 1, 2, 3 makes technologies free. Yes, we Khan, which turns all of the player's Mangadai into Genghis Khan in the Genghis Khan campaign. And finally, this month's event is Put On Your Capes, which turns all of the players' infantry into elite Teutonic Knights. Okay, so don't forget, if you're looking to improve at Age of Empires 2, learn build orders, or just generally enjoy watching Age of Empires 2 content, then uh, do like the video, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon, just so that you don't miss out on any further updates. We do also have a Discord server which you can find a link to in the description of the video and also in the description you'll find the link to the playlist for the build order tutorials.